This video covers the uh, first uh, 11 slides of Chapter 1. Uh, we'll have an introduction to uh, digital systems and information. Uh, digital system, uh, in general, uh, takes uh, a set of uh, discrete input and produces a set of uh, discrete outputs. Uh, and the system may store some information uh, as to what happens uh, in the past. Uh, that is called the system state. So as the picture shows, we have a system state that is what happened on the input in the past. Those information is stored. And the output is a function of the current input and as well as the system state. That is generally called a digital system. A digital is on the contrary to the analog, where analog means uh, the values are continuous, uh, but digital means uh, values are discrete. So we have uh, two types of uh, digital systems. Uh, the first one has uh, uh, the system which has no state. Uh, the second category is the system that has a state. Uh, so the first category is called the combinational logic system and the output of the system is directly dependent upon the current input. So not uh, something happened in the past uh, is not determining factor for the current output. That is called a combinational circuit. So state means uh, something happened in the past. It's so, something like a history. So combinational logic system does not have any history. On the other hand, uh, the sequential circuit, sequential system has a state, uh, which means uh, something happened in the past uh, determines the current output as well. So in terms of a uh, function notation, the output is a function of a uh, state, something happened in the past, or something remembered in the system, or the function is a uh, state function of state as well as a current input. So that's a, a sequential system. So sequential system, we have two kinds of system, uh, sequential system. The first one is called the synchronous sequential system. The other one is called the asynchronous uh, sequential system. The difference is uh, the state uh, is updated at discrete times. Uh, that is a synchronous. Uh, states can be updated at any time. That is called the asynchronous uh, sequential system. So here is an example of a digital system. Uh, something you can see on your car uh, odometer. So we have those uh, digits uh, representing the how many miles uh, the car has been driven so far. And then consider the meter value you see is output and that the miles you have been driven is input then the, uh, the value on display output is uh, not only dependent upon current uh, input and also it depends upon how many miles you have been you have been driven in the past so this system is a uh, Output is dependent upon current input as well as uh, the past input, something called the state. So, this is an example of a sequential system. So, digital computer, uh, we are going to learn in detail in this course as well as uh, the next uh, sequence, uh, sequence course of uh, computer organization too. But in general, uh, computer is uh, something called the CPU, central processing unit, and then uh, memory and then input and output. So input devices include the keyboard, the mouse, uh, and the many other, other things. Uh, the output includes uh, some screens, speakers, and so on. And as we know that uh, the output is dependent not only on the current input right now, but also what you have done, something like the states uh, of the system. So the digital computer system is generally sequential circuit system. Embedded systems uh, is uh, called a system where the computers are integral part of the system. That is called the embedded system. So, uh, example of embedded computers are microcomputers, microcontrollers, digital signal processors, and the like. Uh, and here are examples of embedded systems. Uh, 
uh, the cell phones, uh, which has a computer embedded uh, automobiles, video games, copiers, dishwasher, the many other things are uh, almost all electronic gadgets and electrical system in our daily life uh, is some sort of a computer system, sometimes a very low performance, sometimes a very high performance. Uh, uh, so all those products have a uh, computer system embedded uh, and that's uh, they are called uh, embedded uh, systems. Information in digital system is represented uh, physically by some physical quantity such as uh, electrical charges or potentials or existence of light or and so on. So in a uh, digital system uh, the variables take on discrete values. Uh, uh, the most popular digital system is a binary digital system where only two discrete values are used. So as a concept or as abstraction, we represent those uh, two values uh, or binary values uh, as digits 0 and 1 or words false and true or high or low or on and off. Uh, uh, but remember those actual physical quantities are not in nature discrete but they have some ranges so we are going to interpret a certain range as one value and another range in another value so signal example is something like this uh, uh, analog values are continuous in value and time so it's a uh, the horizontal line represent the time progress so then analog uh, signal is something like this graph there is no changes in abruptly so values are continuous in the value of the time but digital system we have only two values discrete values uh, two kinds of digital system asynchronous and synchronous asynchronous is uh, the values are discrete uh, but changes are uh, independent of uh, any uh, time. What it means is that it's just continuous in time. The synchronous is uh, discrete in values, uh, but the changes are allowed only according to the time clock with a certain timing. So that's a synchronous system. So physical quantity, for example, a uh, voltage is used to represent the two discrete uh, values. Uh, binary values, then we have a certain ranges. For example, we consider over 0.9 volt as a high and output of the device or below 0.1 volt as a low. Or for the input of the systems, we have two ranges, 0.6 or higher or 0.4 or lower. So we have a uh, voltage is a physical quantity uh, to represent the two different values. Uh, so this is just example. Here we have uh, some threshold region where those uh, values are neither considered as a high nor low, uh, so that we can clearly distinguish uh, the high and low. And in the physical computers, uh, uh, we have uh, several physical quantities uh, to represent the two binary values. Uh, in CPU, the voltage is used. The high volt and low volt represent a uh, high value or low value. But in uh, hard disk, uh, the magnetic field direction is used uh, to distinguish those two different values. Uh, whether the direction is uh, headed north or south, uh, based on those two directions, uh, we have uh, two discrete values. Uh, but in CD or DVD, uh, actually the light is used uh, to represent two values. Uh, and the surface uh, uh, reflects the light or surface dis disperses the light depending on those two properties. Uh, two values are represented. Uh, in the meanwhile, the random access memory, RAM, uses electrical charge to represent two values. Uh, the existence of the charge or depletion of a charge represent two different values.